What do I carry every day? How do I pack my bag? These are questions that I find very interesting and I also enjoy to watch what's in my bag videos on YouTube. I already made a couple of those videos myself, just click the links above or in the description below. But this time I wanted to answer them for three different scenarios. What do I pack when I'm editing, going to take pictures or go filming and what am I carrying when it's just a day off. Hi, my name is Boris Mono, I'm a commercial film editor based in Hamburg, Germany. And today I'm going to show you and today I'm going to show you how I pack my bag for three different scenarios in a modular way. Let's start with the basics. The two backpacks that I'm using are the Gorok GR0 and the Gorok Bullet 10 liters. And these are the items that I always carry in my backpack. A battery pack, USB drives, one with a standard USB plug and a micro USB plug for the use with my Android phone, a USB cable, USB charger, gaffer's tape on an old USB stick, audio plugs when I'm on an airplane or want to split an audio signal for shared music playback, a Leatherman style CS, some medication, eye drops, band-aids, etc., a notebook and pens, my Fuji X100S and the Brita Fill and Go water bottle. Usually when I'm editing a commercial I go to a post-production or editing house where all the equipment is set up for me in an editing suite. Then I only take my MacBook Pro, my charger and this Logitech Master MX mouse with me. But for the times when I need to edit on my own equipment I will carry these additional equipment. A Lassie USB 3 rugged hard drive, a Bose Soundlink Mini, Blackmagic Mini display to output the signal to a bigger TV screen, extension cords, a pair of headphones. I'm packing everything inside these field pockets to keep everything organized and modular. If I don't need a particular piece of equipment, I can just take one of these field pockets out of my backpack. Although the field pockets are very rugged and keep everything organized, keep in mind that these pockets are not padded, so don't throw around the bag. When I'm filming or taking stills, I pack the Fuji X100S, the GH4 with the 12-35mm f2.8 lens, the Zoom H1, a Rode VideoMic Pro, ND filters, batteries and SD cards. Everything is packed inside the field pockets or something like this X-Wrap to give the camera a little bit of protection. Of course sometimes I need more light, grip or camera support, then I will use a dedicated camera bag like this Think Tank Streetwalker HD. But I like to keep everything as lean as possible, so I can be on one side very fast and on the other side I just recently learned to appreciate the limitations of less gear. For instance, just having the fixed focal length on the Fuji which forces me to move instead of zooming or having less lighting equipment and therefore just using available light. When I'm having a day off and I'm just spending time outside, there's no use in taking everything with me. Therefore something like the GR0 is more or less an overkill. This is when the bullet 10 liters comes into play. As the name suggests, the backpack is way smaller than the GR0. Here are benefits from packing modular. I just grab the field pockets with the most essential stuff and go. The Fuji X100S, batteries and SD cards. All the basic stuff that I mentioned at the beginning like the battery pack etc. go in these pouches or in one of the main pockets of the bag. This is how I pack modular with the help of the Gorok field pockets. I do prefer using a normal backpack instead of a regular camera backpack just because it doesn't scream expensive camera gear. And I do prefer having the option to use a bag for multiple purposes. For instance, try using this camera bag to carry around your groceries or your shopping items. The downside of course is there is less protection for your camera gear in terms of padding and the very high price tag of the Gorok items. If you have any questions, please comment below and if you enjoyed the video, click the like button and feel free to subscribe to my channel so you won't miss the next videos. Thanks!